Awo Shalom Rastafari. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. As many of you already know, we've been um we have been regularly posting on the Ethiopian World Net over the last uh two weeks or so. Um many of you have showed um concern for I and I, for I and I's house, for I and I's family, and I and I give enough thanks and praise to Abba. Abu Kedus, to Kedus Abba Tach and Tainai, Holy Father, in the name of Gita Jesus Christos, in the name of Adonai Yeshua HaMushiach, our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the eyes' concern, for the eyes' prayers, for the eyes' um, well and welfare wishes to I and to this ministry, to the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. And in particular to I, Ras Yadinos Tefari, Wendem Yadam. Now, to get into the details of um, why we were flagged or who had um, found the truth of I and I video or videos or posting to be offensive, and it's interesting because Father has has. Um, let us know a little bit more how that whole process happened. We didn't even seek to investigate it, but the Holy Spirit, as the Word says, it teaches us, it shows us all things. And we were very curious about exactly who or what was the, how did it all come about? And we basically got to find that um, certain individuals posted some of our videos to their pages. And in order to either impress or to, uh, you know, impress their friends or coworkers or something, and people who are without, people who are outside, in other words, they they cast these pearls, in a sense, to swine, to swine that they were closely associated with, um, and we don't see evil intent in that. We see ignorance. I understand. Um, it's like. Um, and that's a whole other subject matter. But the reason why we're touching on this right here, um, first of all, the, I'm holding this mask out because we're in the season of the finding of the true cross, um, the 27th of September. Also, there's Yom Kippur, um, this Yom Kippur, and we give, once again, the Yom Kippur, the Melkam Astes Rio greetings to you and yours. And there's additional postings, um, teachings that we have touched on, um, some of the finer and more detailed matters concerning Yom Kippur, um, the Day of Atonement, or Yom Kippurim, and the fulfillment of that in and through the sacrifice of Yeshua HaMoshiach and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And it's a very beautiful scriptural harmony. Once again, it emphasizes the word of Yeshua HaMoshiach, where he says that you search the scriptures and you think, you know, in them that you have life, but these are they which testify of me. These are they which testify of I, say if Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now, what 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 is the details of that? I mean, if you if you're interested, please stay tuned and check us out on Rastafari um, Rastafari Sabbatical. The Rastafari Sabbatical site is a, a new channel, a new channel on the YouTube's, which we hope and pray and and seek to give due diligence to have that to be a channel for posting of the Rastafari sabbatical studies, um, the Bible studies, the Torah studies, the, the Wengel, the Gospel, the Good News studies, and it was the teachings, all right, because it says that the, that the law or the Torah is our schoolmaster that brings us to, to Christos, that brings us to Yeshua, that brings us to Christ. And when we begin to understand, well, what does that really mean for us and to us in real time? Th that also, too, is, is very, is a, there's a very beautiful harmony um, to that. We also have a couple of new books as well um, that, we've, that we've printed 
and that we've published recently, such as the Fikari Yes that we'd like to also bring forward to you all. Now, this is a, in fact, this is evening time. If we, um, <clears throat> yes, it is, it is evening time right now, evening of the twenty, um, the twenty eighth, September twenty eighth. So it's one day after um, the finding of the true cross. You see, the finding of the true cross. What is the finding of the true cross all about? I mean, is it just about this particular object, or is this object here actually a key? The cross is a key. You understand? Not the physical cross, but many of these physical crosses were keys into certain doors within tabernacles and within sanctuaries and um, perhaps some of them still do open certain doors actual doors but it is a it is a symbol it is a divine symbol as above so below and there's a very good website out there where they actually touch on this um, on, on the on the cross and 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 show the link as above so below. Now, the heavens, we do not worship the host of the heavens. Let's make that very clear so there's no confusion about it. So, but why are the heavens important to us? Why is the witness in the stars so important to us? It's because of what's said in the first Torah book, the first book of Moses, named Genesis. And in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, it's disclosed to us that the sun, the moon, um, and, and, and the stars are for signs and seasons and days and years so that we may order our days and times aright. And even in a practical level of agriculture or in, in nautical, nautical, what they call the nautical tra travel, it's very important to understand how important that that the heavens are as, as a clock, as a, as a, as a verification, as, as a road map, as it were. And this is what our Torah portions really teach us. When we speak about, well, how do we calculate when the, the, the holy days, when, when, when the seasons, the particular seasons are. And it's for us as Hebrews to know these things. All right, but yet we first must recognize the importance of being born again, right? Of of the repentance, you understand the, the the rebirth, you understand, so that we become new and renewed, and we are overcomers and not as we were overcome. Now, like I said, there's so much, there's so much things to say right now, my brothers and sisters. There's so many things to say. The first is just to remind ones that um, we have other broadcast channels and also to let ones know that while they have the time and opportunity to download as many or all of the videos, if you can download many of the videos and would like to even share them with I and I, we will, you know, if there's any course as far as, you know, whether um, if you're able to download the complete site, this complete site, or even a large share, hundreds of these videos, and um, have to put them on DVDs, and there's a course or an exchange or a particular book, you understand that one would like, we can make, we can work out that ex exchange, contact I and I at um, www.lojsociety.org and say, say, um, line of Judah, brothers and sisters, uh, we've been able, or I've been able to download X amount of videos, um, so forth and so on, from this number to that number, or give a general overview, or even a snapshot, you understand, of, of the files, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would like to send them forward. Please do, but especially for yourself, and for other brothers and sisters, and for your household, we will highly, highly recommend that you download these videos, not only do you repost them or do you favor them at your website or put them in your playlist, but it's also very important for you to have these videos and the previous um, years, about three to four years of videos on the Ethiopian World Net. 
because right now with the haters, with the dissemblers, with the provocateurs and others that are offended by the truth of the King of Kings, of Ketamawi Haile Selassie and his Christ, they will seek to do other things and, and create offenses. The scripture says that it's impossible that offenses not come. But woe be to the man or the woman or the, the, the creature, the entity, you understand, through whom the offenses come. In other words, the stumblings to cause us to stumble, as many felt it to be their evil desire, you know, sent to fly guy and I videos and to complain and, 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 and to find the truth to be offensive, instead of to say, acknowledge it is truth or acknowledge this is not for me, I disagree and keep it moving. But instead they want to prevent the ministry of his imperial majesty and they have failed because we have the victory. It is written. All we are doing is seeking to be a witness. We are his witnesses. But in order for us to be faithful witnesses, we must study and show ourselves approved to God. We must study and learn. All right? So please, my brothers and sisters, stay tuned. We'll seek to post up a couple of vids as possible on this Torah portion. Vayelech, uh, uh, you understand? Vayelech, or Hedo. You understand? Muse Hedo. And this is... Um, the 52nd, this should be the 52nd uh, sabbatical portion. Now, right here, this is from a, a, a lecture that we did while we were um, suspended from posting on the Ethiopian World Net, and we actually have not even posted this as of yet, this particular one on Ethiopian questions, touching on the promise key. And, and, and touching on the over, uh, an overview, you understand, an overview of what is, what is for us to accomplish. We need the new dictionary, new Bible, new board of education, a new money mint. And we also touch on money, too. Um, what is money? What, what is real money? You understand the secrets, you understand, of this so-called dollar bill and this quote, currency, but the real currency for I and I, the real currency is our faith, you understand, because it's impossible to please God, the true God and the Father of our black Lord and Savior, without faith, and, and this um, holy day season, um, with uh, coming up, actually, let's see, um, Yom Kippur this year was September Twenty, uh, like twenty fifth, roughly twenty fifth into twenty sixth, how our days go. So if you count five days forward, it is Sukkot, Sukkot, right? And Sukkot or Metzalet in the good is and Yadas Baal is is the in gathering, right? And we've touched on the in gathering in a previous vid. Um, actually, uh, speaking on Rastafari worship and um, speaking on worship and uh, uh, spirituality. I think it's a recent vid within the last two, three, say maybe three or so weeks, we post up a video on that, on the Ethiopian World Net. And we're going to seek to broadcast this on the Ethiopian World Net, but since this will be the first um, live vid, most likely the first live vid that we have posted since um, the two-week uh, suspension actually leading up to Yom Kippur. And in a follow-up vid, the return of the Lion of Judah um, vid, Yom Kippur greetings vid, we actually touch on the fact that in 2008, uh, during the presidential election, and we're in another election season, kind of interesting. Ironically, the same thing happened. All right, so... We, we recognize this cycle. We, we don't really understand the full significance now, but we trust the Holy Spirit of the King of Kings and his Christ to, to, to illuminate us, to guide us, you know what I'm saying? And we, we spoke on that, and um, hopefully ones can 
overstand, as it were. So let's go forward in this right here. Once again, the Sama'ah will roll it with Memphis Caduce, Ahadu Amlak. Now, the cross, the Mesca, as, as we've mentioned in the video on the Black Madonna of Kedamawi Haile Selassie, the interesting thing about the cross, right, and this is, this is very interesting to note about the cross, the Ethiopian cross, is that there is no um, effigy or figure, no mockery, on the actual physical cross, the Ethiopian cross, of a man hanging. You understand? Whether it be a white man, whether it be a black man, or just any man. It's like the Roman, the Romanist images, right? If you touch on that particular video, the, the, the Ethiopian black Madonna of Haile Selassie first, we, we touch on some of the the, the creeping conspiracy that has crept into the apostate, the professing Ethiopian church, or the professing church of Ethiopia. We've also been speaking on the, the true church, right? There's a true church, and we find this in Revelation speaks to us of the true church in the professing church. Some might call this the true Gnostic church. Now, the word Gnostic, we must be cautious of it because it has different applied meanings, all depends on which particular school of thought, let's put it like that, which school of thought. For us, the word Gnostic or Gnosis means to know. The knowledge of the Son of God is one of the essential knowledges that we must know. In fact, it's the key. Once again, the key to true Rastafari unity is the cross. Right? The cross is that key because there's a significance in that mezcal, right? The cross, because the cross points to a very, a, a very important overstanding of the Bain Ha Elohim, of Ye'egezi Abher Lich. Now, some say, well, language and the roots are not that important, but you see, others may be the leaves, some may be the branches. Right. But I and I is the root, as the Mesmur, the Rastafari psalm and song says. I and I is the root. So now what is at the root? You understand when we study the, the Mescal, what is at the root? You see, some are so caught up on idolatry that even though we're not worshiping this symbol, but we're using this symbol as a teaching tool, some would say, oh, that's just, it's not about that, so forth and so on. Here's the question. Who are you to my men? Who are you to trust? Who are you to have faith in? If it's not in the Son of God, if it's not in the word of truth, then woe to you. But if it's in the Son of God, if it's in his word of truth, and those who trust his word of truth, then Baruch, 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 my blessed brothers and sisters, so the knowledge of the Son of God, and so I, I point this out, and some will say, well, if you look at this close up, they'll say, well, look at it. It looks like an iron cross, right? They'll say, it looks like an iron cross right there. And because so many people are hoodwinked and bamboozled, they would think that, well, this comes out of Europe, but actually this comes out of the heart of Africa, you know what I'm saying? And it's very ancient, and it's very old, you know what I'm saying? Now, what is the meaning? It sounds like trumpets are right here. Trumpets to the four winds. They are trumpets because it's a call that is going out. And at the center is faith. All right? And that faith has to be centered in our heart, in our conscience. All right? This is why the Torah, with that veil being removed from off of our heart, is so very important. You know, it's the first step. It's the key step step in the new birth, in the rebirth of the sons and the daughters of the true and living God. And this is what it's really all about. When you understand, Romans speaks of it too. Romans says that the whole creation, you understand, is, is, is like waiting, it's groaning, you understand, for the manifestation of the sons of God, right, or of the children of God. Then if we look um, into Joel, we find that he pours out his spirit 
upon his sons and his daughters. In the very book of Joel, E-U-L, the Tin um, the E-U-L, it also speaks to the trumpets, the blowing of the trumpets. And, and, and symbolically, here we have the trumpets. All right? Symbolically, here we have the trumpets. The key, the fitchi, is the turgum, is the translation or the interpretation. And once again, we have down here, like Lali Bella, the finding of the true cross, all right, the Mescal. And that's, that's the most um, recent holy day that we, have, um, that we have celebrated solemnly, quietly. You know, no big outward celebration, but a, a very deep inward celebration. Yovis, the finding of the true cross. So if you want more on that particular subject, man, you're interested in that, and I, I really would advise that you stay tuned to that particular series and that you check us out on Rastafari Sabbatical, Sabbatical, S-A-B-B-A-T-H-I-C-A-L, Rastafari, or Rastafari, but spelled in the normal Anglo way, Rastafari Sabbatical, and it's our new broadcast channel on the YouTube. So, so please, brothers and sisters, go there. We'll still seek to post as possible on the Ethiopian World Net, but we also have Ethiopian World Net 911. So also check us out there. Right now, we're not regularly posting there, but we do have some videos and some lectures in reserve to post there. That particular site or channel will be more about 911 issues, so-called, quote, emergency issues, issues that are not directly Torah-based or scriptural-based, but our understanding of these issues are based on our faith. But not to, how can you say, not to um, uh, confuse the various different sets of um, broadcasts and, and information. We wanted to separate, in a sense, the holy from the profane. You understand the holy from the profane. In other words, the subject matters that we um, are addressing or are dealing with. And it was not our intention on the Ethiopian World Net to even get into some of the subject matters that we have gotten into. But we don't regret that. We give thanks and praise because as we have been growing and as we have been learning, we have not held that back, but we have freely shared that with I and I, brothers and sisters. This is why we advise and highly recommend ones to save as they can. We know that ones might have limited drive space, so forth and so on, but to save as many as they can onto, um, you know, back up disc or download them onto DVDs, the over so that ones, as they grow, they can share them with others. And the interesting thing is that we've watched some of these as we're downloading ourselves. You know, we, while, while putting them out, we've saved backups but we did such fine tweaking with them while we put them out that we want to get have have a an archive of these and some of them we've actually had the moment to go and listen to again and and even for i who wanted to say well you put them out was well, the holy spirit the memphis caduce of caduce abatach in, in the name and the authority of Gitai Yesus that that has sent i and I am sent, you know, sent in that truth, and that's what I bear witness to. So even I may learn from some of the postings that I have put out, you understand, know, because it's not really I, but it's the most I in I, you know, and, and also there's a vid that, that, that got, um, that got uh, blocked, the I teachings of his imperial match. Just speaking about I, the I teachings just came to mind. If anyone has that particular vid, um, if anyone has that particular vid, um, please post it or please send us a contact. Just just drop us a line, a contact line at lljsociety.org. Go there, click on contact. Um, we're also going to seek to get a mailing, some sort of a mailing list um, together so that if they are and not if, but when there are certain postings so that when this happens, or should this happen, we're not looking forward to it, but we recognize we're in the spiritual warfare. So should this happen again, 
there'll be a way to update ones so that ones will know where to go because we couldn't even we couldn't even post anything through the channel. I mean, they they blocked it, they locked it down, almost completely like that. All right, and um, so be it. We still give joy. You understand? We still give joy for even these tribulations and these particular persecutions. So once again, um, a melcom, a melcom, but Allah meskel in the words a. A melcom, a beautifully good um, finding of the true cross and, and Yom Kippur as we begin to approach the, the time of in gathering. And stay tuned because we're going to touch more on this Torah portion. And this Torah portion, Vayelech or, or, or Vayelech Hedo, is one of the shortest Torah portions. So, this particular Torah portion coming forward, interestingly enough, the 50, I think the 52nd, is one of the shortest Torah portions, um, the Parsha, or the Kufa. And we're going to touch on that, excuse me, we're going to touch on that a little bit more as we go forward. Um, I think we have a couple of more minutes before this particular, um, before time is out right here. There's a couple of books. Well, as you already know, we have been touching on, and as you already know, we've, we've, we've been touching on, this particular Fikari Yeses, no doubt you recall Fikari Yeses, right? Well, we have been able to do as we've said, hallelujah, and this is the Fikari Yeses, this is the raw translation, the raw translation of Fikari Yeses, right? The raw translation right here by yours truly, right? Fikari Yeses. Uh-huh. Right. And this is in the English. Right? This 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 has English. We didn't go through a full annotation of this. Um, I mean because of the uh because of the time, you know, because of the urgency, as we say in the footnote, because of the urgency right here, you know, the Fakari yeses. But explaining what we see right here, you know, the Fakari Yeses. Fakari Yeses. So check this out. Um, the little book of His Imperial Majesty in English, translated by yours truly. This is a raw translation. We, in the beginning, we footnoted a little bit. We get into a little bit of a footnote, a little bit of an annotation, but it was just so, so, so deep that we said, instead of taking our time going into all of these fine points, let us just present to the people and present to our people a basic overview. So here it is, Fikari Yeses, and the brothers and sisters that have asked about it, they can order a raw copy, but... Um, Y'all willing know this for sure, we're going to go into more detail, you understand, in this. But even with the translation and the references and the Holy Spirit, most of all, ones will be able to know all things, all right, know that which they need to know. But this right here, we are very confident will help much, much more. So this actually is a companion to this. This might be more considered more for the Ethiopian audience and this more for the English-speaking audience, you know what I'm saying? But even the Ethiopian audience might find our translation to be interesting and hope, hopefully informative. All right, so brothers and sisters, shalom, rastafari, um, uh, peace. The peace is Yeshua. Yeshua is our peace, and the peace in the King of Kings and his Christ to you all on this Sabbath and throughout this Sabbath and and, and, and every day, you know, and today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart, my brothers and sisters. So the Fakari Yesus is available, all right, in a digest form. And here it is once again, the Fakari Yesus. That's the apocalyptic painting of the King of Kings, commissioned by the King of Kings. There, there, there you go right there. And this is a raw translation and a basic interpretation by N.A. Ras Yadinos Teferi Neng. 
This is Wendem Yadon reporting.